Well, we've made our way into the kitchen with our very first guest, who is the author of The Sister Pie Cookbook, named after her big-hearted bakery in Detroit. And today she is preparing a rich and creamy chocolatey coconut pie that you should always serve first. That's why we're doing it at the top of the show. Please welcome <laughs> Lisa Litwinski to our home. We're so Thank glad you. to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Joining Cam at the counter and digging in are Orly Ooh. and Paigey. You Mom, guys yep. get started digging oh, in goodness. there. Oh, what do we do? So we are going to start with something that you do at your bakery with every single one of your pies. You blind bake your pie crust always. First of all, explain to everyone what blind baking is and yeah, why you do it. that doesn't sound safe. <laughs> blind baking. She puts on a, a mask. A, yeah, right, and then right. tries to put it in the oven. That's not well, what Well, it's actually the process of almost fully baking a pie crust before you put the filling in it. It makes sure and certain that the crust on the bottom is fully baked and the edges are nice and golden brown so that when you go to bake the filling at the lower temperature, you don't end up with a soggy bottom on the crust. Because there's nothing worse. The sides are beautiful and then the bottom is all yucky when you cut into it. But just so people know, blind baking does not mean that you're going to over bake the pie crust because a lot of people think then you're going to burn your pie crust. Oh, no. The whole point of it is that the crust can bake at a really high temperature, but then you drop the temperature for the rest of the time. So you ensure that you don't bake, over bake the crust, but you bake the filling so that it's beautiful and smooth. Exactly. Whatever you have done is so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you should always do it this way. Well, it starts over here with our yeah. delicious chocolate, correct? So right. What do we so have going got over here? butter, chocolate chips, and coconut milk mm. melting together. Okay. And so once it's all melted together, I'm going to whisk in just some cocoa powder. Right. I'm just going to whisk this until it's fully smooth. Oh, it already smells so good. This is yeah. just on some medium-low heat. And I so love very the, gentle. The coconut milk is so great. Mm. Coconut is one of my favorite ingredients to bake with. It's so versatile, and we use it in this recipe in a lot of different ways. Okay. okay, so after that's all come together, we're going to combine it over here with our dry ingredient, yep. which is cornmeal. Cornmeal, yes. Cornmeal, sugar, and salt. So the cornmeal, oh. I'm just going to start to pour it in. Is that unusual or... I don't really bake, so that could yeah. be a totally normal yeah, thing. It's interesting, the cornmeal. Yeah. I found it, it interesting as well. Yeah. So a lot of the pies that we make at Sister Pie, thank you, are uh, chest style pies, which means that cornmeal is the ingredient that kind of thickens the filling mm -hmm. together. So there's a whole bunch of different chest style pies that you can make. Mm -hmm. um, we make one with maple syrup. And they're and sort of old school. They're old school, yeah. yeah they're an old fashioned pie recipe and cornmeal is the star ingredient. Well, maybe it's not the star ingredient, but it adds something right, kind of unique. Right, the is pretty much the star ingredient. I think ingredient. so, yeah, yes. as but soon as I said that. <laughs> right, right. But it's interesting because it makes the texture of the pie almost like a brownie. Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't it? Yeah. Exactly. So I'm just whisking this together, and you can see that it's quite thick, but I'm going to now, yeah, if you wouldn't mind helping me, okay, you so can just start to kind of pour those eggs, and this will make this a lot easier to to combine. So to combine. once you you want to go in this order so that you don't scramble the eggs. Exactly. Correct? When you're when you're pouring the melted chocolate into the cornmeal, that's going to sort of bring the, all of the ingredients to a better temperature. Okay. And once that's fully combined, then we just pour that beautiful cornmeal coconut chocolate mixture into our blind baked pie crust. Oh, we put Can't the coconut in as well. That. that is yeah, more coconut. Oh, I thought the coconut went on top. All the coconut. It's going to go on top too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't worry. It's a triple coconut situation. So now I'm just going to gently fold this coconut in. Hey, speaking this... of the coconut milk, um, was that like the regular coconut milk that you kind of drink or is that the stuff that comes in the can? That's a I'm great always confused question. when I good see question. it in, in yeah. an ingredients. It's the kind that comes in a can. In the can. And so okay. if you open up the can sometimes based on temperature there will be like a solid yeah. part at the yeah. top. Well, yeah. So you'd want to make sure that you whisked that together so okay. that it was... It's like cream, right? Kind of on the top. Yeah. There's so many different coconut milk. There's coconut milk, there's coconut water, then there's the one that has the right. pulp in it and it's thick. That That's the one in the right. can, right? Okay. So now I'm going to pour this into the crust. Okay. It's always... Might need... Do you need my I can help? Do this. I, yeah. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I don't want anyone to think this is a two-person job. But <laughs> no, there we go. There's just a lot of batter here, that's all. There we go. Okay, wow. so Look how we're beautiful that completely is. Completely fill this beautiful crust. Now, when we blind baked, how long did you blind bake? Like 12 minutes? Uh, actually, it's quite a bit longer. Oh, so, really? Um, we bake them at 450 degrees for about 25 minutes. Oh, you do? It's oh, a my pretty goodness. long bake. Okay. Yeah, you really want to make sure that it's completely done. Okay. Well, and, and by completely done, I mean. Partially done. <laughs> <laughs> Which is confusing when you say yeah. blind baked. Right. Okay, so now we pop it in the oven now at what top of the oven? So the oven's okay. at 350 degrees. And you're going to bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven, rotating it halfway through. 
until the top of it is really puffed and it starts to separate. You can kind of see this little crack. It'll separate from the rest of the pie and then that will fall when it cools. And now we're gonna add even more coconut, but first mm -hmm. chocolate ganache, yes. but it is important to let it cool, correct? Yes. Do you I need a eat, spatula? I need a little spatula, there yeah. You go. Perfect. So yeah, this is fully cooled now. Okay, because if not, it'll just slide all around, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, and the, the ganache, you, oh. can, you can kind of get creative with this, oh, you know. You nice. could just put it on the edges. I like to do just a big, Pile of it in the very center. Oh my gosh! And the ganache acts not oh only as ganache. Oh my oh ganache! Oh my ganache! Oh my ganache! It's extra chocolate, uh, but it also obviously adheres the toasted coconut to the top of the pie. It's beautiful. So then just a and nice you make your gonna just ganache heavy cream and chocolate, correct? Absolutely. On the stove. A too. nice bittersweet 60% yeah. chocolate chip. And I have to be honest with you, I like how rustic this is, and that you don't try to hide the crack with something. You just, right. this is what it looks Look like. Because a lot yeah. of people put Look whipped cream that. around and try to. It's a work of art and uh, you do great work. You, you, you make the pies, you sell the pies, you also give back to the community. <laughs> Tell us about Pie It Forward. Yeah, Sister Pie It Forward is something oh, that we started God. where a customer can pre-purchase a slice of pie for someone else, whether it's someone who you know, doesn't want to spend the money on the pie or has never tried mm. a pie like sweet beet and mm -hmm. wants to kind of make sure that they like it before they invest. Uh, or you just forgot your wallet at home. It's just a way for there to always be pie available Aww. for everyone. Isn't that awesome? That is a beautiful. Yeah, I love that. I've got and to get And Sister in. Pie in itself is, is a very special meaning. Tell us about the yeah, name. Yeah, uh, the name Sister Pie was inspired by a nickname that my younger sister Sarah and I started calling each other in college. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. a term of endearment that has now come to mean a lot more for our business as we kind of explore sisterhood type values in our mission. Isn't that oh great? Gosh, like, hey, Sister really Pie. Oh, oh, we have to take have a little bite. Yeah. Have a little bite. Right, and as you do, I will Cheers. tell everyone where to find this recipe. You know where, hallmarkchannel.com will be there. Oh my God. Uh, Lisa's book is available now, and if you're in the D Detroit area, head <laughs> over to Sister Pie, mm -hmm. grab a slice for yourself.